Yes, sir. How you doing, Elder Carr? I'm blessed by the best. You know his name is Ohio. Uh, you talk yeah, to us, Chase. That's right. How did the truth change your life? Well, yes. Well, uh, man, I would. There's a good chance I wouldn't be alive, and either that or in jail or just a a scum. <laughs> Lord, have mercy, guess, man. To be honest with you. All right. Yeah. Go ahead. So, uh, give, <laughs> give a little background, man. So I'm a uh, red redheaded white guy from Alabama, right on the Alabama borderline. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Went to a uh, all white school, the whole nine yards, man. And uh, okay, I was uh, I I was uh, really, I guess uh, just you know just wild, grew up real country, partying stuff like that. And then uh, I got married, and uh, now I grew up in the Baptist church and stuff like that. And then whenever I got married, um, my father-in-law at the time was uh, real big into the Jewish people and taught me basically taught me everything about them and how how uh you bless them you'll be blessed all this stuff man it was so bad uh, we were going to we went to washington dc with pastor haggie at that jewish convention <laughs> gave 150 i'll never forget <laughs> i gave 150 dollars in that plate and that was that was man that was the worst 150 dollars only time i ever regretted giving money after i came to the truth <laughs> but, uh, i was i was you know pretty deep into it man and uh okay you know i was always a pretty decent kid or whatever good heart and stuff but you know i was just heading down a bad path and uh i'll never forget man i went um uh, i got i was in a, going through a divorce and um just lost a job man it was down just real down and i went and bought uh some drugs <laughs> bought some weed and some cocaine and i just figured i was gonna have me a pity party in my truck and uh, some guy come out, nice suit, headed to a real nice car. His car was right next to mine. Okay. And I asked him if he wanted – I just rolled my window down and asked him if he wanted to do some drugs with him, basically. And uh, he looked around and said, all right, got in the car, and we started talking. And I told him about I was losing my, I lost my job and all this. So he handed me a business card, uh, and I ended up showing up to his job, and he was running a, a AT&T U-verse company. And, okay. Uh, <laughs> so – he was a Jewish guy, and uh, him and this other black guy named Pat from uh, Philly was, uh, or Patterson, Patterson, New Jersey, was rooming. And we all, you know, being we were set, we were in sales and stuff, we all got to know each other. And I remember watching those two go back and forth, and I it went over my head at the time. I didn't really understand. One day I was selling cable, and uh, and uh. Jacksonville, Florida, they're selling cable in the projects because that's where you make money when you sell cable. So I remember coming out of, I'll never forget this. I was in the house and I came out and I, I noticed the black Jesus up on the wall. And I thought to myself, that's interesting. Like, I mean, because I noticed him to be white at the time. So I asked to uh, come back in the car and it was me and Pat working that day. I said, Pat, I said, man, why, why, do, why do black people have black Jesus in their house? They just assume he's black. Just like the man, just like the Malcolm X movie. I, I started uh, chuckling. Uh, just like the Malcolm yeah, X movie I, I when the Catholic chuckling. priest says, "Of course, of course, Jesus is white," <laughs> and and a big picture of Cedric <laughs> Moje pops up. But go on. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> when that happened, he told me that he was black. I started laughing. I'm like, "No, he's not." He's like, "Yeah, he is, man." So he took me to the Bible and showed me, and I read it, and I sat right there and thought to myself. Well, why is he white? I mean, why are they white everywhere I look? Why? Like, it, it didn't make no sense at the time. And uh, so he started teaching me stuff. And uh, man, when he so he sent me to one of your videos, Twelve Tribes of Israel, after he broke a lot of stuff down to me. And uh, that that changed it for me. I got mad. I got real mad that I was lied to about everything, and it uh it oh. didn't set well with me. But what it did was hold up, Chase. Now, were you mad at us, or were you mad at no, them? No, I was mad that I was lied to. I was mad about the whole Christianity and everything being lied to about all that. Because in order for them to lie to us, brother, they had to lie to their own people. So, yeah, but, but go on. Yeah, it, 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 it did a number. Okay. So, uh, at 
this at this point, um, when I watched that video, it lit a fire under me. And uh, at first, I tried to prove it wrong. So I would go back in the scriptures and try to find out everything. Everything that was said was true. And uh, that that's when that's when it got fired up. And the next thing I know, I'm taking notes. I'm six hours a day, man. I wasn't even hardly working just because I'd wake up in the morning, <laughs> hours and hours, just taking notes, writing. Just, just ripping through these books and going to all the books you recommended, getting the Apocrypha, Book of Jasher, and just, just taking notes and keeping all this stuff. Next thing I know, six weeks to eight weeks later, man, I was sharp. Well, I was sharp. So uh, at that point, I guess I would run around sharpening my sword, and uh, I would go to all the pastors that would lie to me, and uh, <laughs> I'd get kicked out of the churches, and uh, then... Uh, and then one day, an uh, interesting thing happened. I was in Brunswick, Georgia, selling cable. Now, if I sold you cable back then, I was selling you the truth. And you wouldn't believe how many yards, I, how many black women kicked me out of the yards because I told them that Christ was a black man. Okay. That happened a lot. <laughs> hey, man, but, listen, uh, listen. It sounds yeah, it, 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 it sound like a, it sound like a uh, something up, up the line for a reality show, but I'll, I'll ignore that part, but let's go. Okay. <laughs> so, so uh, uh, you know, a lot of people really loved it. A lot of people really accepted it. I, I, you know, I, I took it as a personal mission to teach the truth to uh, to your people because I, I wouldn't say I don't know. I guess maybe maybe it was guilt or just I don't know what it was, but I just took it personal that at this time cause nobody knew this. I'd say out of out of ten people, maybe one person have a hint of an idea. Now this is eight years ago. So maybe one person had a hint of an idea, but uh, I would always send them to your videos. I'm talking hundreds of people I used to teach this to. I, I two or three, four people a day, and um, okay. that went on for a while. And but I was in Brunswick, and I walked into this church. Uh, there was a church. It was Tuesday. I never forget. It was Tuesday, and, the, and I could hear them outside the church. So I, I, I listened at the door for a little bit, and I walked in. When I walked in. It was about 20, 20 black people in there at the time, and uh, or Israelites, but you know what I'm saying. So uh, I'm just doing doing the view from my point at the time, and uh, so I, I opened the I, door, oh, man, oh, oh, and, uh, oh, oh, oh. Hold up, when you say they're Israelites, were there was it a black church of people who didn't Judah. know they yeah. were Israelites? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so yeah. these are Judites, yeah. but you uh, know the Israelites, but they don't, right? Correct. All right, correct. go on. Yes, sir. Just want to clarify uh, because you so know. go ahead. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, uh, the, uh, the pastor, uh, he was in a wheelchair and, uh, I remember I walked in and he was, he was preaching. Now when I walked in the door, man, every, the whole church just got quiet. Everybody looked at me. <laughs> so I sat down and I started listening to him and I don't remember exactly what it was he said at the time, but he said something and it, it triggered some stuff that I learned, uh, with you guys. And I, I raised my hand. I was like, Hey, is it okay? If we ask questions. He said, yes, sir. So I, I added on to what he said, and he, he at this point was just letting me run for a little bit. And he said, listen, man, uh, I'll tell you what, will you come back next Tuesday? I said, yes, sir. So I, I went to come back, but I was nervous about teaching the truth at that time as far as to a whole bunch of people. And plus, Pat, at the time, he knew he knew a lot. He knew a lot more than me, so I wanted him to, to basically preach stuff. So I, oh, I pumped him up well. When, do, me, do me a favor because I'm going to let you speak, but you, you – you're a fast talker, and there's a lot of stuff going on that that I would like to okay. grasp from. I mean, I mean, man, you're going with it, right? Yes, yeah, sir. All right, let's go back yeah, to the sir, church. I just want to be mindful of the time. Oh no, it's not like that. I I rather get the content and clarity to why we're doing the show, right? One thing you pointed out yeah, is sir. that you begin to speak, and that they readily a black church who didn't know they were israelites began to pay attention to you correct oh absolutely now let me ask you if i was a black man who came into the church and did the same thing you did do you think i would have been received the same mm, i this church would be hard to say but i think no i i can tell you it possibly no no, ain't no possibly. I mean, possibly no. I, no, I, I oh, oh, um, no, Chase. Okay. <laughs> Listen to me, Chase. I've done what you're talking yeah. about. Okay. 
And before I before my second foot can get in the door, the nine one is already pushed on someone's cell phone. They only have one digit to hit. Okay, so <laughs> <laughs> so no no, there's a difference. But I'm glad that you were able uh, to convey the message that wouldn't have been received otherwise. You even get inv- you, you even got invited back. So now I'm interested in this story. Come on. So um, I get I try to get my buddy Pat to do it. We get there and he ends up not being able to get there. So I'm I you know I had already mentally studied, but I didn't I didn't bring my notes and all this stuff. That I was to really rip into it. So when I got up there, huh. he just brought me up oh, to the oh, front oh, stage oh, and told me oh. to speak. Chase, this is the last time, and then I'm gonna let you go unimpeded. I, I, I promise you. Some someone someone put in there. Edom teaching the truth is all. I mean, okay, which way do you want it? You complain when Edom lied to you. <laughs> Edom can't lie to you. You're mad that you rather him lie to you so you can so you can what? So, so you can attack him. So you can call him the enemy, right? So should we not give people credit for telling the truth regardless of color? We would rather hear the truth whether it be from a black man or a white man, the truth is true, okay? So raise, raise your wisdom, okay? Because all in all, if this man was able to go into a place I even couldn't go into, with less understanding and have our people here that they're Israelites, that's the most high, whether it's through me or someone else, okay? Raise your wisdom. It's called a wisdom meter. You can finish. I will not interrupt you from from now on. I'm gonna let you, but you, but you gotta quantify. Right, it. Come on. All right. No, you you you're good, brother. I've 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 been through that a million times. I ain't worried. They don't. They just you know it is what it is. Yeah. But, these so, the, uh, these are people. Uh, these are people who don't know what it takes to do work. And don't know the power of the Almighty. This is what they do online. You know, this is their thing. All right. But go on. Maybe, you know, maybe I don't know. It could be a lot of hatred people's hearts but still, it, listen, that, you know, and maybe that's what it I'm is. I'm saying, but that's between who and who. That's between them and, oh, and yeah. they, it's between them and their keyboard. All right. Keep on going. I just wanted to put it out there. <laughs> but go on. And guess what? Hey, you right. rock. I don't so, want you to block the guy or, or whoever that is. I don't want you to time him out. I'm just using this, his, I'm using his, his, his comment as an example of low wisdom. All right. Keep on going. So, at this point, I come in, I, you know, I, I didn't no know wisdom. Was, That's better off. But, like uh, that. When I got not low, no. Yeah, so, We're going. <laughs> <laughs> so when I got up, uh, when I got up on the stage, the pastor just told me, "Hey, man, speak your truth." And uh, man, I'm telling you, the Holy Spirit was was running my mouth that day. Okay. And I, I broke it down as if I was in, if I was one of your lessons, man. And I went in so hard that I got started getting so, because I was just trying to be soft with it and try to really bringing around but i went in so hard man i told him straight straight up I, I told him that uh you know i got into the name of jesus and i said i know y'all seen miracles happen in the name of jesus i was like but that's not his name that's not possible to be his name i said that, that i said i said well when he was born at that time there's no way they had that language that language not to mention there was no jays at the time and i broke down what that name meant and i went in Told him, you know, his name was Yeshia. Broke that down. I went into the Most High's name and Moses when he was in the mountains, and, and how he said his name was I Am, and I broke that down to him. And I went in hard. And I went in about I I, got, I went all the way into how they're being deceived, paganism through these churches, the whole nine yards. Man, I let it rip. Okay. And uh, at at the end of it, <laughs> the pastor he he said, man. That was really great, man. Everybody clapped. And everybody was loving it, man. They, uh, I, I, I told them all where they could go. I broke everything down to send them your way. And um, the pastor sat down with me afterwards, and he told me, he said, uh, he said, man, I was really impressed. You spoke a lot of truth. And uh, he's like, I want you, you know, if you ever, if you ever back in the area, I want you to come back. And uh, that was the first time. That was the only pastor I'd ever seen. And let me speak in his congregation about this truth. Look at that. And uh, it was a it was a, it was a proud moment for me. I, hey. I was really happy about it. Listen, and I'm gonna tell you this, brother. 
This is why the enemy is quaking in their boots, creating stories and narratives to demonize Israelites right now. Because this is not something, this is not awakening just amongst black people or Hispanics. All races are coming to the knowledge of the truth, brother. And guess what? The Most High compelled you to stand with, with courage to bring forth some understanding to help his people. And like the Bible's, like, like, like the blessing that was given to our father Abraham, uh, Chase. Right? Listen, cursed are them that curse you. But blessed are them that bless you in the name of the Most High. And you know what you did? You didn't bring a curse on our people. Even if your forefathers sinned, you're turning, you, 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 you're counterwise bringing a blessing. And you will be blessed. Right? So I really appreciate that, brother. Yeah. And, and uh, hope to see you soon. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, sir. Me too, man. I hope that, uh, you know, I could return the favor to your family or anybody else in the church. If they ever need help. Okay. Well, I'm going to tell know, you coming you, up soon with all this stuff happening. I'll tell you, Hey, you're right. But you know, sometimes I like to bring a little, you know, uh, a little sense of humor that, you know, they're they going to, I'm going to tell you, there's going to be hey, a man, lot of, there's going to be a lot of guys not happy that, that they're going to say, well, hold up. We have, we have a, uh, we have a white black supremacist. By, by by the name of by the name of Chase Bigsby. <laughs> man, no, it's all you, good. I tell you what, uh, I'm just playing with uh, you. Uh, man, you it's good to hear you, brother. Well, I'm well, a, I'm well, a, we got to get to the next I'm call, a, brother. I got your phone call. I, yes, sir. I'm going to put your number down. All right. Yeah, but I'm glad. But at yes, at the sir. at the end of the day, at the end of the day. Was you surprised to find out that the blacks in America were the Israelites, not just the Jews, but from the original bloodline of the lost tribes of Israel? Were you surprised when you found that out? Just answer that for me. Um, I would say at the initial, yes. But after that, I, I, I totally seen, I just seen it. And I knew for a fact that, Watching what happened in front of me and seeing your people and all the curses in Deuteronomy 28 and physically seeing it from my own eyes mm. every day, it made me realize that you were the people, and there is no doubt about that. Hey, all praise be to the most high. All right, Chase, I got your number. <laughs> I'll talk with you soon. And, all right. And before you go, wow. you, you put down the drugs. You put down the drugs, right, Chase? <laughs> I even stopped drinking and everything, man. Look at this. The Jews and the Gentiles alike. Oh, the gospel of peace. And uh, I'll tell you. Real quick, too. I, I, this, I, I did, I did want to make this very clear, too. Okay. What the truth did for me, what the truth did for me was it gave me discern, discernment and how to judge myself and give me the ability to correct my wrongdoings and make me a better person through the laws. Look at that. That's what it did for me. Look at that. And so Kwam Asherala. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. What say say that again? I said Kwam Asherala. Okay, Yasha Allah, but I got you. Kwam Yasha Allah. Asha See? The laws benefit all people. See? So all that stuff talking about Israelites is a racist cult and all that garbage. Hey, if you believe that, anybody want to say that? Not like the acting channels, the satanic apologetics who are actors and all that crap, right? We don't have seed callers and setting stuff up for production and all that. No, I, I, I don't know, Chase, right? And he'll tell you. I didn't compel them to go into a church and let our people know that we're the children of Israel. It was the spirit of the Almighty, the spirit of the Christ that they claimed to serve. Ah, interesting. With my eyes towards the east, show me the way.